Hello there, we are back after quite a while, actually. Um, it's been like a week and a half since I recorded. Um, I had a few episodes built up, and then the past few days I've meant to record, but... Uh, long story short, I've had a little bit of a miniature health scare in recent days, and... Um, it's kind of cost me a lot of sleep. Uh, I don't really want to like go into like that much detail. It's a little odd to discuss, but um, I've lost quite a bit of sleep over this. So um, I was going to record last night, and I just like felt like death. Like I just could not physically do it. And I actually feel about the same tonight. But I was like, I really just want to get an episode recorded because I'm probably going to end up in a similar situation. So. Let's try Clash while sleep deprived. Everybody loves Clash, right? And here's Kitty. She just couldn't even wait. Uh, wait, gosh. Okay, so. As Clash is wont to do, it has given me a billion unit slots. So here comes Bastion, Joffrey, Ranulf, Janif, and Largo, who will probably not be in the run after this point. The game just loves to randomly open up a bunch of character slots in this one map, and you have to just find a bunch of filler units, and, um, Kitty is just really all over the place. Okay, great. Um, and we also got Alencia, who is, after being an NPC for the entire game, just decided to join in the last four-ish maps. It's, like, Clash, the Black Knight fights, the tower thing, and then the end. It's not much, but, um, not a great unit, <laughs> to, to be honest. <laughs> Um, I'm actually gonna like quickly like move my units around a little bit. I really don't know about putting all of my like scrubs at the front. <laughs> oh, Jill's still unequipped. I was like, wait, what? That's not right. Okay, that's cool. Um, that should be fine. Um, these guys are just pure filler, but hopefully they do well. I'm gonna have to be. T I'm gonna have to take this one very, very meticulously because. This map has a tendency to, like, really overwhelm you, and in a way where you can, um, just miss a range and just get jumped on, basically. Um, I will say this, out of the gate, I'm kind of liking Magalov here. <laughs> Good dodge rates. Okay, I'm thinking I'm, I might just actually, like, bait them all with Magalov to start. And Jill's gonna need to have to be ready to go as she needs. Let's see, I recall. Yeah, these guys charge in pretty quickly, so that might be a squad for Jill to take on. And I also have to worry about these guys. Yeah, I remember that. Um, where are the other ones? Let's fi let's figure this out in advance. I should have like checked the map more closely than I did. I just kind of uh, I honestly wasn't really overly intending to record, and then I was like, okay. I feel like I'm going to, like, not record, and then I'm going to regret it, so... I'll just suck it up and do it, and then, um... So I'm kind of unprepared, and... <laughs> my brain has stopped working. My brain stopped working about two days ago at this point. Um, I'm thinking I might actually have, uh... Jill go ahead and bait, after all. Like, looking at this... Looking at this side, um... If I could just have her bait one or two of these, then that's pretty good to just clear out some pressure, because I'm going to get pretty much overrun very quickly at the, if I uh, just stay in the corner. Um, it's very likely that she'll take zero damage from these things. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm overreacting to the whole um, medical situation, but I am very prone to being very anxious very easily, so... Great. Doing great. I really need to also figure out if I'm going to uh, actually even try the Black Knight fight. I've gone back and forth on it a few times. It's one of those fights that's like, if you're not doing an Iron Man, yeah, sure, go ahead and try it. But if you are, I don't really want to lose the run. Um, as far as I know, there is not a single reliable way to actually... Like, there's not a way to make that fight 100% reliable. Like, it's not actually possible. And also, this is looking awful already. Oh, jeez. Um, as best I know, the best you can do is make it decent, like, make your odds pretty good, but I don't think that there's a way to make it 100% reliable in terms of killing Black Knight. 
Um, my Ike is pretty good, but... Ugh. There's always... There's literally always the uh, potential of just a spare Luna just completely demolishing your chances, so... This is rough. Like, out of the gate rough. It's gonna have to be a lot of um, thinking before I act. Is that the Meteor, dude? Please don't be the Meteor. No, I think it's the Bulganon one. I have been so dreading this chapter, and like I'm already thinking, like, should I have waited another day? Like, oh my gosh, dude. I feel like I was too passive on turn one. Because they are just all coming. Oh boy, this is going to be an interesting one. Okay. So... So Meteor is not a huge threat right now. If I can stay out of this range and just focus on taking down these guys, then that's not too bad. But I don't know how that's going to go. Out of curiosity, how does Alinsia do here? Not, not awful, but... I'm thinking I might, if I can have Jill kill one and then uh, cancer to like right here and roughly block off this guy. This, granted, it's he's got a long sword, like I'm not that worried. Uh, the one to fear is this guy who probably does nothing. Yeah. I'm only worried about him in, in the context of like my other units, like not even remotely worried about him doing anything to Jill. Uh, that is not a kill. It's not even close. Um, shoot. This is rough. I, I don't know that killing all these units is going to be physically possible. On this turn. Anything with higher might? No. I do still have some blizzard uses. Um, this isn't the worst spot to use them, but it's not the best either. I definitely, okay, so I have to take out of that guy no matter what. How does I do here? Let's see, so 7, 8, with that darn crit chance. I'm not all that worried about, I, like, I taking damage. Um, 21... Okay, so the archer does nothing to Ike. Do you have to worry a little bit about that? Oh my gosh. Like, I am so... I am, like... I feel like I've already made several mistakes. <sighs> I do apologize for how slow this is going to be as well. Um, it's going to be a lot of uh, thinking and regretting. Really hoping that you could uh, take that out. I can't really rely on these uh, filler scrubs to actually do anything here, unfortunately. Okay, so let's just first things first. I think Jill is a good idea against the killer guy. Even if she gets crit, it's not that bad. Be nice if she were to crit. Okay, good dodge. Or not. Okay, so that's... is the start. And by a start, I mean, oh holy hell, I think, we, I think we're gonna lose. There is the option, as much as I don't want to take it, there is the option to just kind of let Jill do everything? Which has been the name of the run thus far, for sure. If we take out the Killer Axe guy, I don't think that the damage exists to kill Jill. My main concern, like, for this turn, is in, um... I don't know that my units are 
strong enough to be in a position where I can actually like take out enough of these units and be protected. Like I can take out the units, but then I have to leave units like right here and here, and they're in range of getting crit by these guys, which is a problem. So let's just see what we can do. I'm kind of starting with the Kanto crew and uh, working backwards a little bit. Since they're able to escape. Um, there's no way. Um, any chance? Okay, nice. Go Joffrey. Oh. I probably should have given him better weapons, but it just kind of threw, it, threw in like anything that uh, I haven't really been using much, honestly. Do okay. So, Mr. Boulder. Am I worried about it? Like, is there a world where Ike is actually in danger here? I don't see it. I think I could put Ike, like, right here and have him just kind of play with Jill as well. Let's, like, let's, like, super double check. Um, eight, so 28, 29... Uh, 30, so all roughly the same. Like, the worst case scenario is what, like, 6 plus 7 plus 8? Um, oh my gosh, I'm like way too tired to do that math. That's like 31, I think, or something? No, that, that can't be right. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb, jeez. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, this is, this is going about as well as I thought. I think it's like 21, I think I added a digit somewhere. Um... And then there's one from that guy. Even if he crits, not a huge threat. Um, so roughly the same. Admittedly, Mr. Killing Edge is on my mind, but he can't... He, no, he can get there. It just doesn't look like he can right now. Okay. Shoot. So what would that be? <laughs> I can't apologize. This is going to be a very, very slow map. This map is always, like, it's by nature one of the slowest maps in the entire game. I think it would only be 9, though, wouldn't it? Even if he crit? I don't inherently feel that worried about that. But maybe I should, I don't know. Okay, so we don't want to be in any of the red square, in the red tiles. Nor do we want to be here as much as the game makes it seem safe. Fortunately, that doesn't leave too many tiles. Um... What do you have? 25 on Ike's 12 rest, so 13. That's not that bad. I could probably get away with having Ike go right here. Um, this is rough, dude. I'm like, I feel like I uh, should have done way more on that first turn, and I'm so regretting not doing it, but just gotta make the best of it. Let's go for this Magalop kill, first of all. I've, that's, like, it's been something that's needed to happen, so... Okay, get that dude out of there. Get Magalop out of there. Okay. So what can we... Uh, that's bad. I was gonna say I could have Soren do this. He can't even kill. He's Soren. Oh my gosh. Um, great. This is a mess. Like, this is such a mess, dude. Um, trying to decide if I just have everybody move back and just solely count on Jill. And that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. But I really want to find some kind of opening to get some extra, like, something else in there. Because it feels like I'm, um... Like, if, I think I'm just going to get totally overrun the rate I'm going. And that's not good. What's your age? Nine? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You went back to where Mist is. Which isn't terrible, but... 
would I be safe there? Oh my gosh. My inner, like, panic anxiety is saying that there's, n like, I'm, there's not a safe spot and I've already lost, but I'm not willing to, uh, not willing to go down that route just yet. Okay. If we do this, what is the absolute worst case scenario break? Seven plus eight is fifteen. Plus three if they got a really, really unlikely crit. Um shit. Like, oh my gosh, my, I'm like way too tired to actually do math, too. Like, it's so bad. I do apologize, this is like really bad, but whatever. It's, it is what it is. Um, yeah. 15 plus 3, 18. Plus. Five, so twenty-three plus nine, thirty-two. I'm just assuming like the absolute worst case scenario where he gets crit by everything. By the way, um, two. Gosh, I, I feel like I would be safe here, even in the absolute worst case scenario, and I feel like I could bait somebody. I'm just gonna do this. If it's if it doesn't work out, then whoops. <laughs> okay. Let's so make double sure. Yeah, okay. Um... Hopefully we made the right call. Did we? I don't know, but hopefully. Okay, so next. I think, against my better judgment, I'm going to use another use of Blizzard. I feel like if there's a map where I need it, it's probably this one. Um, I really hope this lands. Damn. Okay, well that would have made things look a lot safer, but... Rippy-dippy. Okay, I'm gonna put Morim right here. Because I feel like he'll be a juicier target than Ike. Gosh, I hope my math was correct. Um, I do think that there is a world where Ike dies, but it relies on every single thing critting that can possibly crit, and it just feels like it's so unlikely. I hope. Oh my gosh, just enter. I've I spent like 10 minutes on this base. Okay, good. He is going for Morim, which was what I was counting on. Good dodge, too. Go, kitty! <sighs> I don't even know what we're gonna do about those guys. Let's just, let's just pretend they don't exist. If we all just close our eyes and pretend, then they can't hurt us. That's how this game works. I'm 150% sure. Don't crit, please. Okay. Got hit, but not crit, so that's, that's all right. Good dodge. I think Ike should be safe at this stage. I don't think that there's a scenario. Yeah, there's no way. Even if he gets crit, I, there's like not a scenario where Ike dies here. Nice. And an ether. Okay. That was also that was also like a big thing in my uh, calculations. Just before he seemed like a total scrub. Which I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I am a total scrub, but. Um, it, it, it occurred to me that even if, like, all of these things were to hit, um, Aether would always be a factor there to uh, heal up the damage, so 
I think he was safe. Um, I just honestly, like, I'm just sincerely, it, it sounds like an excuse, but I am sincerely, like, too tired to actually do math at this point. Like, I'm just, like, I, numbers enter my brain and then leave them <laughs> immediately. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that, that sounds like a number. That's probably correct, right? Go, Ike. Okay. This is going to be a rough one. We pretty much have to take out every single enemy in this vicinity. I don't think there's an alternative. Um, like, we can block a little bit, but for the most part, we pretty much have to take out as many as we can. If not, if, if we can take out everything, then that's the ideal scenario. Let's start by seeing what we can do, like, towards the back. Okay. Decent damage, but the lack of a double is kind of hurting you, kitty. Jeez. Oh, Love these filler scrubs who are doing nothing. Just doing great. Um, I am a little concerned about this. Like, I feel like this guy's gonna hit pretty hard. Okay, no, three. Never mind. Luguzbo. Five. Okay, so I, Ike is pretty safe. As long as we take out the mage, I feel like Ike is pretty good. What I'm thinking is that we might be able to, like, maintain our little wall here, kind of. Oh. Okay. Please tell me Titania can take this out. Like, please. Okay, good. Ow. Uh, counter. Totally unnecessary, as that skill tends to be, but it's funny, so, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, is there a scenario where you double? No, it doesn't look like it. So I guess we just hope for a crit. Well, probably should have actually, actually checked more damage before committing to that, but whatever. It's fine. It's just Bastion. Don't care that much if Bastion dies. I actually like Bastion. Ah, uh, damn. Okay. Okay. If you want to crit, like, that would be so fine, but no, of course not. Why would you ever do anything useful? Uh, these units actually aren't that bad, like, if you train them. It's just, I haven't trained them, so, you know. What are you gonna do? With these three, I would probably actually use them, like, in a run if I, um, didn't already have a full team. It's just kind of, unfortunately, the way P.O.R. tends to go. Don't miss these. That would be pretty catastrophic, in fact. Let's go with... I probably will end up just physicking Ike as well, just to be, like, extra safe, but I feel like based on the damage that I'm seeing, I can't really imagine that there's a world where he's in all that much danger right now. Famous last words, potentially, but... Okay. So. These guys can no longer get to us. Let's also make sure Mr. Meteor over here isn't a threat. Okay. So now we have to take we have to take out like the, these remaining calves. There is no alternative, and I don't think the Volca is going to be the one to do it. It's <laughs> the guess. Um, I guess I, we're going to have to take. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. Um, curiosity. That's not too bad. You would only have to hit one of those. Um, that's what I was looking for. That's good. Um, I'm willing to gamble this. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Nice. <sighs> I mean, missing two 50% in a row isn't, like, the least likely thing to ever happen in the history of mankind, but when you really need it to happen, it would be, <laughs> it would be a little bit bad. Um, okay. Let's have Mr. Kitty 
Do his cat thing. A little bit. Can those guys actually have reach? No, okay. Good. Radical. So cruisies. And Raisin is still in Transform, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Gosh, this positioning is awkward. Like, I know it's all on me, but it's just like, oh my gosh, dude. Oh, love it, Soren. Oh my gosh, that's actually great. Good, good. Good job. Nice. And a crit. Totally unnecessary, but... We'll take it. We should be fine. We should be like in the clear at this point, I think, for this particular group of enemies, I think. Um, sure, I'll shoot for the crit. Just, okay. It would make things a little bit easier, but it's so fine. Do you get Kanto after, um... I don't remember how that's actually, like, labeled. I'm pretty sure you do, but I don't know that I want to bank it, because if I... Uh, well, whatever. Let's... She's the brave bow. If you don't kill, whatever. It is what it is. Oh, wait. You always kill. What am I talking about? <laughs> Again, brain not work. Brain sad. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. I love that. She's needed strength quite badly. Um, so now... I am still actively using Volga, so let's try to actually get him some EXP in this whole train wreck. Okay. So, I am going to burn a Physic use, as much as I'm kind of against it. Um, gosh, your Physic range sucks, missed. Oh, but gosh, dude. You are a mess. Again, there might be a scenario where the math adds up to kill Ike, but it's kind of unlikely, and it relies on him getting crit and him never proccing Aether, so it's like... I'm willing to roll the dice on that level. I'm always so, like, unsure about missing a range. I'm gonna have to probably put Soren up here to bait this meteor, because you really don't want to actually deal with it. My little babies in the, like, in the back. I'm actually really sad that I have like I haven't been able to find a spot for Janif. Um, I would love to do so, but mm. he just joined a like like probably like probably one chapter too late because it was like right whenever my team was getting finalized, and I just could not find the, the slot for him. Good try. Are we in a position where we can take out all of this next turn? I'm inclined to say no. So this might be a case of a uh, cancelling back. Like uh, hitting and then cancelling back and then trying and then turn after that. Because this is a lot of enemies to deal with. Good old Clash. 30 minutes in when you haven't left the starting area. Granted, that's partially me being like the world's slowest player imaginable, but... I do partially blame Clash on some level. Okay. Mm, so we now have these guys. Fun. So they're not an immediate threat, but I am going to have to like, watch out for that. Any chance Jill can kill one of these? It is a little, I will say this, it is a little bit disappointing how, like, Jill consistently comes just short of being able to kill anything. Makes her good at weakening stuff, look over that, but... Um, out of curiosity. Four, nine, that's... Really four, did I, like, my tired, well, really? Okay. Have expected more, but sure. Whatever. Um, thinking. I'm. I feel like if we kill a few of these guys, then um, 
we can honestly probably just stay where we are. But I'm trying to decide if it's worth, like, committing to, because the position gets a little bit awkward. Like, I'm pretty sure Khalil could... Oh, let's face you for Khalil. Um... Ooh, I don't love that crit chance, though. That's not nice. Shoot. And what is the world where we can take all of these out? If racing were transformed, I think it would be quite feasible, but as it stands, I don't feel super sure about it. Um, I, w I think I would need the four-way dance to do it. Um, I think we're going to back off and corner ourselves again on the next turn, you know. Just very intelligent plays. <laughs> Intentionally cornering myself. What could go wrong? Um, I would like to try to take you out, though, with your crit chance. Let's canter back to about here, I think. This is it going to leave us in it? Okay, I'm going to move like one space further back. Um, if, if either one of them were to die, it would be Ike. Um, I don't think it's especially likely for either of them, but I would like to be just a little bit safer with him. Um, there's a very good chance that not, uh, none of these enemies can even damage uh, Jill at all, so... So we definitely need to have, be ready for this little Wyvern Strike Squad that's coming towards us. Asterisk would be quite useful there. Out of curiosity, um, effective 20 res on 27? Okay, so the, the Meteor is not a huge threat to her anyway. And we'll move Kitty back too. And Miss Alencia can hide in the corner as she tends to do. Should probably move um, race on a little bit further back, I think. Just in case. Like, I just realized that I may not have highlighted every single range in here. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, um, just to be super duper sure. It just hit me. I was like, wait a minute. Um, there are probably some ranges that I haven't actually checked. Boy, this is this is quite a formation. This is supposed to be like the big triumphant counterattack map where like we finally go on the offensive. And this, this, this is our offensive. Kitty agrees. Kitty's back. Hey, Kitty. It's just. Hey. You don't like this. You don't like Clash either, do you? Oh, did you have the Brave Sword on? Oops. Oh well, whatever. Well, I guess we're going to be taking a few of these out if he has the Brave Sword. Oh wow, he can actually damage Jill. That's sincerely surprising. Jill is not happy with that. Jill is not ready to be injured. It's been a while since anything's been able to injure Jill. I, I, I'm trying to remember like the last time Jill's actually taken damage. Okay, from anything that's not a mage. Mages have always been able to hurt her, but physically, oh wow, that's surprising. <laughs> I like this Ike is doing really well, by the way. I, it just kind of hit me a second ago. I was like, he's he was a little rough in the mid game, but he's really coming around. Well, who would have expected these units to move? Who would be dumb enough to corner themselves? Like, can you believe that? What, we, what was I thinking? <laughs> Doing great. Alright. Um, let's see. Can we stay far enough south to not end this? Okay, yeah. So this should be the turn where we take out as many of these as possible, if not the whole group. I think that's our play. Um. 
limit. Just short of being able to do exactly what I need you to do. Very useful. Eh, it's good use of the spear, I think. I really want that particular enemy dead. Eh, I probably shouldn't have used the spear. Never mind. I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, it just hit me. Like I was like, wait, what am I talking about? That was a terrible use of the spear. Whatever. Um, just... Good. I was gonna say, just ether, so I don't have to worry about healing you or anything. <laughs> Sorry, I just... Can you tell that I'm tired? Like, has it... I, I feel like it's really difficult to tell. When I'm using the spear for absolutely no reason. Like, it, it really didn't benefit me in any way to do that, but whatever. Um, yeah, I'll just steal X. Nice and clean. Honestly, a lot of me... Okay, I feel like I've been kind of underselling a lot of my team. They can definitely hold their own. And they're definitely competent at, like, killing things when they need to. It's more just the fact that I'm worried about getting, like, surrounded is the big reason I've been playing so scared. Um, because once you start getting surrounded and units can start getting hit from multiple sides, that's whenever these, like, slightly squishier units become kind of a liability. Curiosity. Uh, almost. You know what? Just, just for fun. You got it, Alencia. Just crit. Watcha. Look at her go. She's actually not that awful if you train her, in total fairness to uh, Miss Alencia. The big issue with her is more just that, um... She's a... Well, A, she's a game over condition, which is, like, why bother at that point? Granted, it... I mean, it's not as big of a deal if you're resetting for character deaths, but I'm not, so... And, um, she just starts at such a low level, like, this late in the game. Not that that's a new thing for Fire Emblem, but it's not particularly fun to deal with. Like, I don't particularly want to train an entire new unit this late into the game. Okay, I was worried about that attack range and moving up. Yeah, that is a little bit. But... Cool. Um, yeah, I probably should. Okay. Let's turn this... Okay, these ranges on. The Meteor Dude's been really weighing on my mind as well. We are definitely getting to the point where we're able to push more, which is nice, because, um... This has been going a little bit more slowly than I would have liked, but Clash is just inherently a very slow chapter, unless you... Um, I feel like it's fast if you, like, low man it. Like, if you're just strictly using Jill, and you just kind of charge her in and hope she doesn't get blown up by mages or something. I feel like that's, like, the fast way to do Clash. Otherwise, it's pr pretty much always going to be like this. Granted, I am the slowest player in human history. It is official. I actually got a spot in the Guinness, Bro Guinness Book of World Records recently for being the slowest Fire Emblem player ever. Fun fact. There's uh, no crit involved. I can't imagine he has like a random skill that would do anything. And Cloak can just crit too, so nice. Iconic. Nice job, Volka. You're doing it. Nice job, Makalov. That's just what I want my cab at Weapon Triangle Advantage to be doing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's exactly what I was hoping for with this unit. Um, I'm gonna just see if I can, like, fish for a crit, I guess. It's because I really want Volga EXP. Of course not. Well, thanks. Um, honestly, at this point, it's more about who wants the EXP than uh, anything like threatening right now. 
I'm going to watch out, though. I know that there are quite a few reinforcements that spawn throughout the map, so... I do have to keep that in mind, and I do have to, uh... Like, I can't really, like, let my guard down that much. I think you could just... No. Um... I really don't want to burn a killing at you here. Yeah, sure. You're an armor. You look like you're an armor. So that was what did we figure? Twenty-seven. Okay, let's start baiting out the storm then. I think. I don't know if that particular enemy is going to move. If not, I can probably just... No, I don't want to... I was going to say I could just, like, walk over to him. But I don't know that I necessarily want to do that, just strictly for the fact that I am worried about more reinforcements appearing in this general area. Sounds like an excuse. I guess in a way it is, but still. I am curious. Um, yeah, let's put sword right here see what happens. Um, I am curious on if there are any opinions on if I should try to take on the Black Knight or not, because um, I feel like the thing that I, like, I feel like I see a lot of players who do Iron Man's opt out of fighting him just because it's so unreliable. But I do feel like my Ike is bulky enough that he's probably not in danger of like actually dying to the Black Knight unless I like, play like really, really poorly. Okay, so you are going to move. Interesting. Ow. So, I don't know. It's kind of a tough call, honestly. So that's something I'm going to have to watch out for as well. Oh boy, what do you mages have? I remember there being more enemies with siege, uh, siege tomes, but I'm not a hundred... Oh. Apparently, my emulator was not fond of that. They're like, oh my gosh, you're healing with reason? No, it's not gonna happen. Well, I think it just made other things a lot worse, haven't I? Okay. I think we'll just send Titania in to clean that mess up a little bit. Hopefully she's able to kill. I didn't really calc it before starting to uh, commit to this. Um, I'm fine with Titania going in. If if there are more reinforcements, she's got a good chance of actually getting out. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. It's been a while since we've actually relied on Titania. Not, she's still great, it's just uh, Jill's been kind of stealing the spotlight for quite a while now. Oh, nice. Solid level up. Yeah, her strength is kind of not good this stage. Steal, steal, steal. Anything tricky? No. So, I'm thinking I'm just going to unequip with Jill and bait them over to her. And then we'll uh, divvy up that uh, juicy XP. It's a storm at one point. I'm kind of not sure when it's going to happen. <laughs> Hopefully not while I'm recording, because um, my phone app says heavy thunderstorms, and I'm like, great, that sounds lovely. Oh my gosh, they are coming. Oh yeah, I was going to check them, wasn't I? Uh, that's something I should probably do, because um, I don't want more siege gems running into my army. Ideally. Good try. Okay, so no more reinforcements right now. That's nice. Let's see. Sauron. And... You do have Blizzard. Shoot, that's gonna be a problem. Well... I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do about that, but let's worry about this turn, and then we'll figure everything else out later, right? Let's have uh, you chip a little. If you're gonna crit or something, it's fine, but that'll get you a level, so... That's pretty solid. 
You know, it makes me so mad that the that knives are so bad because these stats, are, like his, he's been consistently getting good level ups, and he's been consistently like on the verge of being very, very good. And it's just he's just entirely held back by his weapon type, and it's so frustrating. Like, uh, my Volca has more has more strength than Titania, or as much. Yeah, he's he actually outstrengths her, and she's like the super death unit who's ten levels above him. And it's like, if only you had access to weapons that were actual weapons and not whatever the hell stupid ass. Whatever, I'm getting a little too um, angry about this. Oh, sleep. That's fun. Did it break my store? No, oh, as always, I totally forgot. So that's gonna be fun to deal with in a few turns. <laughs> It's just great. I feel like this map is like trying to push forward against the tide. That's just like the feeling I get from this map. Great. What a lucky level up. So lucky. Uh, sure. If you want to adapt or crit, that's fine. I'm kind of whatever either way, yeah. Sure, go for an adept. That's fine. Okie dokie, so we're gonna have to worry about the next wave now. It's kind of spread out a little bit. Let's get into position to fight them as they come. I do still have one use of Siege Magic left. I don't know that I necessarily want to burn it. I think I still have a uh, one use Bolting, I think, in the convoy. Um, I would rather keep it just in case like something really bad comes up where I need it in the next few chapters, but... I feel like the next chapter is like the last super, super hard chapter before the finale. Next chapter is a rough one. The one after that kind of feels like a break. Mainly in the fact that Tabarn can kind of just handle a lot of the map by himself if you really, like, need him to. <sighs> just keep coming, why not? I think we should stand just outside of the meteor range or whatever stupid Tomy has. Yeah, Blizzard. Okay. I think we should stand just outside of that range. I don't really want to charge in on them and aggro all of this just yet. So I feel like if we just kind of have everybody move one space back, it could be Volga, you can move further. And hopefully our calves and Jills are able to do something. Namely kill and then cancel out safely. 48 minutes in, and we are not really particularly close to finishing. That's class for you. And the calves are moving too. Well, that's just boatloads of fun. <laughs> All right, I think the I think the strategy is going to be chill, which is less of a strategy and more of like a win button. But yeah, you know. Okay. Damn, I don't like that. But that's fine. When has the game ever been concerned about the things that I like? Um... Can Jill just... Spear? Yes. If she gets hit, I might heal, just to be like super duper mega save. 36... It's really unlikely that there's a scenario where she actually takes a significant amount of damage, though. Please get strength. Strength would be nice. Okay. Just get bulkier, why not? Uh. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll think about it. For now, I need to take out this mage and be able to cancel out. Which... I guess? There's surprisingly not a crit chance, which I have no idea why that's the case. I would have really expected him to crit on Magalhoff, but sure. Look at Makalov cleaning up like a champ. Oh. Well, 
Don't crit, actually. I actually don't want you to crit. I feel like this is a good EXP to give to somebody else. Thank you. Very, very nice, Astrid. Um, don't think there's any way... Yeah. Just making sure that there's no other like danger around that I'm not seeing, but... I feel like we're good. We're doing good. This is the most intense version of Clash ever played. I'm inching up at a snail's pace, but... Nah, I feel like a snail would knock out slowly I'm playing. Ooh. Well... I mean, if you get crit, it's not a kill, so whatever. In the incredibly unlikely scenario where he missed and then got crit in return, it, he's still fine, so it's fine. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh my gosh. That is what we like to see from our Makalov. That is what we don't often see from our Makalov, but it's what we want to see from Makalov. The scrub squad is just continuing to kill it. Look at him go. Look at him go. And carry some extra weapons. It's something. Um, I feel like we're in a position to move up a little bit more than we are. I am a little bit, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about, like, all of this that's coming at me right now. It's a little, it's a little much. That's why I stayed back a little bit. What weapon did she equip? I hope this is, I, I think it's a Steel Axe, based off of her inventory. It's always nice when she's just short of killing. Um, it's actually nice whenever I'm softening of units of, but it's, uh, like, meme nice whenever I'm actually want her to kill things, and it's going to actively harm me when she doesn't. So, nice. This is a messy, messy, messy situation. Probably doesn't look like it, but it is. This is not great. <sighs> I think we're unfortunately going to have to retreat a little bit. Which is not fun to say, but... Like, if we go in here, we're kind of going to get blown up by all of these things, so... I think what we're going to do is... Just take this guy out. Let's can't it back to about here. Let's try to bait him back to this spot, and then from here we should be able to take him out pretty safely. Do you have to keep watching for threats up this way? Um, yeah, they're close. It's mainly just staying out of the range of uh, Mr. Meteor and these Wyverns as I... Um, take out these enemies that are attacking me right now. That's the big concern. Oh my gosh, that range went way further than I expected it to. Always oh, nice. Largo is just killing it. Look at him go. He should be the thumbnail. I don't know who the thumbnail is going to be. Nobody's really stood out except for Jill and Ike, which is kind of like the name of the game at this point with my run. really watching that range. If it expands again, it's going to get a little messy. But we can hold the zone, but that's what I was worried about. Um, getting good at running away. Um, I, Boyd will be fine, I think. I'm more just worried about, like, a Largo or something being in danger, if anything. Um, Ike, Mac, boy, that's, that's fine. Um, I'm, the, they should be able to take on some hits. 
It's really, really sobering to see these enemies going for Titania over Magalov. I'm pretty sure Magalov was in that range too, and he chose to go for Titania, which says a lot about where Titania is at, which is kind of sad considering what the force of death she was at one stage. I feel like, it, you know, in retrospect, I feel like I shouldn't have filled all of these unit slots. I took them because I could, and, like, as I'm playing this map out, I'm realizing it just would have been faster to, uh, bench the scrubs. I mean, it's far too late now. We're 55 minutes into Clash, and it's probably gonna be another 55 minutes before we finish Clash. But, um, okay. So let's... Check out the danger ranges. Alright, so we should be able to just kind of sweep in and clean up a little bit. Look at this assassin go. You can almost kill this cat. Assassin versus cat. Who will win? Assassin. Yeah, sure. Not the most accuracy, but it's not the end of the world if you miss. Okay, well. That wasn't an open invitation to do it, boy. That was not, like, it wasn't like, okay, you can miss, so just go ahead and do it. It was just like, oh, it's, it, we can, we can find a way around this if you miss. Um, let's get some hot Largo action. Honestly, pretty decent. That's, like, better than a lot of my units are doing who I've trained up. I keep thinking I'm hearing something, but I'm not sure if it's just like my imagination, something else, or if it's thunder. Not that it's the end of the world if it starts like storming, it's just uh I'd rather not be recording while it's heavy storming, allegedly. Um Out of curiosity. Eh. Okay, let me just say this. If they ever remake Tellius, I really hope that they um, uh, buff Bastion by, like, a lot. He's pretty bad in both games. And it's really unfortunate, because he's a really interesting character. He's just really pointless, honestly. There's not that much of a reason to ever really use uh, Bastion, like, in either game. He joins very late in this, and very late in uh, Radiant Dawn. And it's just kind of a shame, because he's a really interesting lore character. He's just not one who actually gets to do anything, like, on screen. I'm pretty sure he spends the entirety of Radiant Dawn um, off screen, just, like, conducting missions for Alencia. And it's like, yeah, that's cool. Like, I'm, it's really neat that you're getting to do stuff. But I really want to actually, like, use you, so don't join at the end of the game, Bastion. He also always speaks in iambic pentameter, and that's just rad. I believe that was his gimmick, at least. It's been a while since I've actually read his dialogue. Oh boy. Who doesn't love a good clash? What are Magalov's weapon ranks looking like at this point anyway? Like, I haven't checked them in a while. A and D. Okay. Just making sure. Go Soren, go! He's Soren up there in levels. <laughs> eh, the res is nice. He's been kind of my premier res tank for situations like uh, siege tomes and stuff. Uh, let's double check these ranges. Should be good to go. I think. I think we're in pretty good shape on this front. Look at us pushing forward on Clash, like we're actually playing Fire Emblem or something, and not just cowering in the corner.
No, just keep him coming, game. It's not like I wanted to actually play Fire Emblem or anything. It's just, just keep on bringing him in. This is why Clash sucks. <laughs> gonna say it. Oh my gosh. Nobody enjoys playing Clash, and there's a reason, and it's these jerks. I'd really like to like bait some of these units out, just so that I have to like, just so gonna, like stop worrying about their ranges constantly. I don't know that's necessarily going to happen. Nice try, kitty. You almost get something. Do you even have any axes right now? No, you don't. <sighs> Boy. I am definitely feeling the fatigue at this point. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm definitely like uh, the tiredness and the um, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have recorded. I feel like I'm going to die. Is like definitely, definitely setting in for my poor. Brain at this point. <laughs> um, I should have danced Jill. That was. I don't know why I didn't. Like, I have no idea. Cool. Totally unnecessary either. But radical. Cool. Actually, it was after that level up. Um, I kind of want Ike to be in as good of a spot as he can be going into the next map, I'm going to like look over his stats and the BK stats and just kind of determine what my odds look like if I uh, decide to take that fight on. I don't really know at this point. So we'll see. I am really curious. I, like, I have to be actually quite curious to see what other people think, but I don't think anybody's watching these videos enough to actually be interested in commenting. So. Just gonna wait out this next wave yet again. It's not like I wanted to push or anything, Baka. We've hit the hour mark and we're half-ish way through the map, so that's about the Clash experience, isn't it? Oh boy. Like, honestly, it's not the end of the world, like, to play out this map, but it's just, it just feels like it, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's as coherently as I can phrase my opinions on Clash. So, everybody's outside of the range, right? Let's fix that. Weird. Uh, I guess it's just the uh, perspective of the hill, it just kind of looks like they should be able to go over here. So let's put ourselves in a position to take these out next turn. Should be good to go. Unless I missed a range, in which case Rayson is like Omega dead. <laughs> Always very nervous about doing that. Especially with my Rayson at the front lines, but no, I think we're good. Please, just don't let there be another wave of reinforcements after this. Just do me a favor, game. Because I would really like to actually push, please. Where would this run be without Jill? Sort of curiosity. Like it's just an interesting thought. Um, she's been very much hard carrying this run for quite a while at the stage. Okay, so let's yet again check Mr. Meteor. Okay. We are good from the Mr. Meteor front. And let's flip on some other ranges, just to be super for sure. Cool. Good to go. That's so weird. I could swear I heard somebody screaming, which is like very off-putting, considering it's quite late. I was going to assume that was my imagination and it was something else. Huh. Interesting. I have no idea what I'm hearing at this stage. 
Might just be a, like really loud and odd sounding wind at the beginning of the storm, but it's just very, very strange to uh, hear what sounded. It, it, it sounded pretty convincingly like some someone screaming. Mm. Okay. Sure. If I can get Ike another level up before Clash ends, that would be pretty good on the whole BK front. Yeah, but I will say this, Bastion has been pretty reliable as a uh, filler. Um, I, I have mentioned and or alluded to my feelings on Bastion a number of times at this point, but um, it is a shame. It just is. Um, I was kind of in the middle of saying that earlier. I do wish that there was a version of Path of Radiance where I could like, use Bastion. I guess it would have to be like reverse recruitment. Um, as it stands, eh. not so great. I get another secret book. I think it's going to Boyd, because his hit rates are getting really, really wonky. Cool. So, who wants it? Kalil cool, wants it. Cool, can't get it. Um, eh, let's just shoot for like a random adept proc, I guess. If not, then we'll get like I guess Kitty. I feel like Warm's evening out. I, I kind of mentioned earlier that I was a little bit disappointed in the Warm experience, but I feel like it's kind of. Hit, hit a nice midpoint. He's not quite as dominant as he once was, but he is decent. So... There should, like, there's no way that... Okay. I'm gonna try to bait out Mr. Meteor Mage if I can. I'd really like to start getting rid of some of those Meteor uses. Because I know that's going to be a big issue moving forward. Don't know that he moves or not, like whether he moves or not though. Okay. So. Okay, I think this, this space is outside of uh, the meteor range, which is what I was looking for. Because I would like to go ahead and bait those wyverns over as well. Because I feel like at the rate I'm playing, it's going to end up taking like four hours to finish this freaking map. So I'd like to kind of speed it up just a little bit, if I can. And baiting these enemies out is definitely a big part of that. Just the one. Oh! Interesting. That's interesting. Don't you just love Clash? Okay, that's fine. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, but you do stuff with bow. I was like, mm, if I have my bow, stop working by now. By, have, by that I mean, like, have I run out of usage yet? Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Jill kind of start cleaning up on the, uh, the like, around these units. I'm going to stay out of media range, but otherwise, I feel like at this point it's just taking like way too long for what I want to accomplish, so <sighs> God damn it, Clash. He had one job and that was to not be annoying. You just couldn't accomplish it. You just had to be Clash. Um What is in Morm's kitty shop? Not much. Okay. I think we'll just see if I have like a spare axe that Makalov can actually use lying around, but it's not looking good. Whatever. 
It's fine. We're fine. We're gonna we're gonna do this. And we're only gonna cry for a few months after I finish this map. <laughs> just, just a few hours of tears and sadness. Oh, I sincerely forgot that that enemy was still around. Good try though. You've been waiting so patiently, and you did so much for all of that effort. I know I'm yet again kind of feeding Jill too much, but it's just at the point where like, oh my gosh, this map is going on forever, and it's nowhere near over, so... I kind of wish I had, um, like, looked up the reinforcements in advance. I feel like that would have helped the whole situation, but... What fun would Clash be if it weren't always a surprise, right? This is gonna be a mess, dude. Okay. Let's infer that Mr. Meteor doesn't move. We are assuming 10. 1, 2, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In theory, if he doesn't move, it should be roughly fine. With that said, I'm not like super keen on ending my turn in uh, range of anything. But if it comes down to it, like brain no work, brain sad. Um, that's just where we're at. Good, nice, nice. Go, Astrid. Look at her go with her magical stats. Iconic. Look at Boyd go. Also iconic. Um, I could probably get one more use out of this dance, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Ow. Iconic. It's the word of the day. Pass it along. Tell your friends. Okie dokie. Um, fortunately, I have to. Like, I really need that one to be reliable. As much as I don't really want to burn all of my good bows. Like, I have been doing with absolutely no regard for the future. Okay. We're clashing now. Yeah, sure. He needs the bow rank anyway. Really kind of acting under the assumption that Mr. Meteor doesn't move, but I don't think he's especially threatening even if he does. Okay, so let's make super sure that you guys can't get around there. That should be good. I can, I can actually like feel my concentration waning in real time as like just sheer fatigue sets in, and it's a little bit concerning, just on the level that uh, there's still there are still quite a few threats that could potentially like get me. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave Jewelry right there for now. Okay, I feel good with this turn. Hopefully. You're a mean little cat. Well, not anymore. Rip kitty. <laughs> Excellent. This is Jill. I feel like this Jill is like really, really, really strength screwed. 
Which is not the end of the world, but it is a little bit frustrating. Okay. Damn, dude. This freaking meteor, dude, is just not cooperating. I feel like uh, this entire map would be like just so, so much faster if uh, the meteor guy would just like either get baited or not exist. Just either one would be fine with me, but I don't really want to deal with them. Oh gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I have no idea. At one point, there was a coherent strategy, but. Trying to think about what I can bait without baiting everything at once. Yeah, okay, it's definitely the wind. It's just very loud. Let's edge up a little bit. Okay, wind and cats. That's what that's what we're looking at. <sighs> and turn for now. Ow. Wow, that really hurt. Damn dude. Okay. Is the option of some Kanto shenanigans? Why are you? Oh, silver. I was gonna say, like, what in the world, dude? Um, I'm actually gonna chill, kind of retreat just a little bit. I'm just a little bit worried about that. that. Still taking damage is no good. Yeah, I'm hearing a mixture of cats, heavy wind, and uh, more cats, basically. They just... The devs knew how to make this map terrible. I'm like, so sure they were just so proud of themselves. That's okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to bait with Astrid and some Kanto stuff. <laughs> it's basically my plan. Oh. Okay, so that... that... Okay, I don't know why the cat is randomly charging, but... It wasn't really in my uh, plans, so let's just see if we can... kind of quickly take this cat out, and then... I guess that's one less enemy to deal with, that's something. I really sincerely don't know why the cat in particular decided that now was time to charge, but you know, whatever, I'm not going to question it. Okay. So let's figure this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then Raisin has ten. So what did we figure? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, square. So Raisin goes one, two, three, four, five. And you can come back to exactly where he is. Okay. Should be good to go. Let's kind of poke this guy and hope that. Him being attacked makes a move. Let's make general game plan. If it doesn't work, then I think we're gonna have to go south with a chill, and that's 
Not precisely what I'm dying to do, because I've been relying on Jill so much, but whatever. <sighs> Shoot. Really wish they had two uses of that boat void, but sure. Decent. I'll take that. Uh, luck and defense are both pretty nice for him for where he's at right now. Out of curiosity, um, I swear this math changes like every time I look at it, but I think it's just my brain. So 28 on 15 res. It's not even that much damage. I'm gonna start sending Jill this way in case my other thing doesn't work. Okay, great. <laughs> um, so you know what we're gonna do? Let's just see what happens at this point. I am hoping slash assuming that all of these are going to start charging, which would be nice because I would like to just get rid of them and then, uh... okay, no, great. If it comes down to baiting them all out one at a time, I will do it. <laughs> it's not my favorite strategy, and it's going to take like eight years, but I will do it. Do I send this guy on over to like Makalov or something? Sure. This is where I kind of regret using up all my meteors, or my uh, like, yeah, all of that stuff. This would have been really nice for precisely right now. Oh, interesting. I did not realize that he had a two range on him. That actually changes some things. Twenty-seven. So eleven. Yeah, okay. Let's bait this dude out then. Cool, that speeds things up slightly, which at this point I'll take it because my current strategy is on pace to take 900,000 years. Good try. It was mainly just baiting out the killer lands that was bothering me quite a bit. These, I swear these cats have no idea when they do and don't want to move. They just kind of, at random points, just kind of go for it. Alright. We're getting there. One step at a time. Okay. Jill's gonna need a serious inventory refresh before the next map, like, so badly. Alright, so we're gonna put you over right there. Nice and snug. Um, nice. Nice and snug. It's also a point where I really wish that I had another flyer. Unfortunately, my only other flyer is Alencia, and she's not quite cutting it. Um, if I had like a good extra flyer, I could kind of just fly them in here and start doing some stuff, but I don't trust Alencia to do that, unfortunately. I do sincerely apologize if I've been, like, super, super low energy. Um, I'm really trying to hang in there, but it is definitely catching up to me at this point. <laughs> but we're, we're getting there. We're in the last probably 20-ish minutes, hopefully. Oh, jeez. What a map. Nice. Look at her tank. It's gonna enter her. Yeah, 
health. Am I overusing Jill? Yes. Do I care? It's... I did it one boy. It's kind of waning. To my credit, she is not amazing out of the box. Like, it actually does take some effort to actually get her to this point, so it's not like I just kind of threw her in there. There was actually a lot of um, decision making in terms of saving all of my opponent's EXP for Jill. Just to defend myself a little bit. Okay. I would like to just kind of thin this group down a little bit and then hopefully have Jill I'm keep her exactly where she is. Um, I'm going to try to just have Jill charge in and uh, take out Mr. Meteor. It's kind of my current game plan, which isn't precisely the most, like, well-thought-out game plan ever made, but... Oh, interesting. Let's, like, turn on all of these ranges really quickly. Except for you, little meteor dude. Okay, um... So I should be able to kind of safely bait right here, right? Okay, no, it would take... Mm, but am I worried about that? That's 17 attack. And 21 magic attack. Like, those aren't huge numbers. Let's just, let's just stick Astrid right there. If it doesn't work out, then whatever. Maybe it'll wake me up a little bit. Oh, how I wish Jill could do one extra damage right there. Did he just walk it? What? He just walked into his attack range but didn't attack, and I have no idea why. Hmm. Well, at least you took the elixir away. Okay, we're doing fine. I really have no idea why this guy just walked into his own attack range and then just said, nope, not even going to try. Okay, apparently you can't do anything to Astrid, which is really funny, considering she's kind of like infamously not tanky, but you do you. Oh, I love to see that. I, that this, this is turning into a really, really nice Astrid. Probably going to turn around and use that same elixir, but whatever. It's fine. I'm just kind of trying to thin down the numbers right now. In the nine billion turns that this is taking me. Of course. Should have expected that. I did expect that, but that's still not fun to see. I'll be interested to see where they go after this. So you're back after Jill. That's fine with me. Maybe I can set a record for the longest playthrough of Clash ever. Yeah, let's do this. I am liking the fact that Jill is like, dodging so consistently. Uh, those little pieces of damage would add up if they were to land on her. So it's good that they aren't, because... Uh, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my gosh. I love that level up. My Jill has needed strength very, very, very badly. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I don't really trust that, so just kind of gonna just kind of edge up a little bit more. Yeah, 
Half of my army has been shelling here for a while, but that's the name of the game at this point because I really don't feel safe charging in at this particular point with Mr. Meteor and these remaining enemies, so that's why I'm kind of trying to thin it down. Oh, uh, well. Can't even put Magalod to sleep. That's honestly kind of sad for you because uh, I feel like it wouldn't take that much to convince Magalod to take a nap, but. You know, I'll take it. Oh, please, Chris, just end the suffering. No, of course not. Like, we are whittling it down, but it's just taking so much longer than I want it to. <laughs> Here, let's do this. Five, six, seven, yeah. Should be good from, like, right there. I know I'm playing this way too safe, but I'm just, I'm just, I don't want to lose a unit. I really don't. And I know that's like so scrubby to say. Like I know, um, I'm just kind of, I don't know, I'm getting a little bit too focused on uh, going deathless, I think. But... It's so tantalizing that I just can't help it. And then um, it makes me like really slow down, but I'm already a very slow player. Let's see what they do. For a second I thought I accidentally entered the meteor range and was like, damn, okay. I'm, like, once, once recent transforms, I might be able to just kind of make a run at it. Oh, shoot. Well, she should be fine. Didn't account for that range, but whatever, it's okay. Good. Good job, good job, Astrid. You know, there was a point where, okay, said Brace and Transforming. I guess the question is now, do we just try to storm in and win? Slash, make this not take 10 billion years? Um, that's not great. Because I feel like if I four-way danced some of my better units, I could probably just take out most of these units like right now. Let's just do it. Let's go all in. Sounds like fun, right? Do I have a coherent strategy? No. No, I don't. Gosh, I wish that you had more uses of that, but let's try to grin. Okay, I'll take that. Oh boy, I'm starting to feel like this was a mistake, if I'm being totally honest. Um, it's just hitting me that I don't think I have the range to do what I thought I could. My favorite use of the blizzard, but I am at a point where I think I need to um, take some emergency measures because I feel like I made a lot of mistakes in this last turn. I feel like Z would be good, Soren maybe. 
Pike's definitely gotta be up there. And I need Titania, I think. Oh my gosh, she can't get it. Oh no, I thought she could. Okay. New game plan, we may have just lost. By lost, I mean lost a unit. I don't think we're gonna like, actually lose the map, but I don't like the direction that this has very quickly taken. I should have counted these ranges out and I didn't. Okay, what do we do? How do we salvage this? The big problem is this Brave Sword dude, and I don't think that I have anything to take him out. I think I just made like a huge, 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 huge mistake. Oh my gosh. No, I was hoping that maybe like she could like, rescue, but so what is the worst case scenario? Twenty-six times two. That's not that bad. I'm thinking. I definitely made a lot of mistakes on this turn. Like this was like not, not it. Twenty-nine... Uh, I think defense is thirteen. Twenty-six... That is... Twenty... Eight... So six... Thirteen plus what did we figure this was? Sorry, my brain. It just it stopped. Twenty-six on the sixteen. That's gonna be ten times two. Oh my gosh, dude. I think I think Astrid is dead if I end my turn right now. Putting Magal up next to her helps. But she would only take one of the physical. So what's the worst? Oh my gosh, I'm so anxious about this. Um, 20 plus... Six? Okay. I just thought that my range was better than it was. Wait. No, she can still go, or that can still go around. I would have to put Mechal right here, I think. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I am not confident in this. Astrid is fairly likely dead. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull back on this, like, a lot. I really hope that the math wasn't there and like I just didn't see it, but I don't think it was. Unfortunately, like whatever the ranges didn't add up. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm so oh, Okay. That is very nice. And he's physicking. Okay, I think we're safe. Oh. 
My heart is like about to like explode right now, dude. I think that the math was there, at, like was how I have it set up. I don't think that Astrid could have died, but I'm not confident enough with that to be sure, so. The double dodge is very, very nice. We are taking Mr. Meteor out. I have been sick of his shenanigans for a while. He's done. Okay. I am like all clashed out for the next 163 years, precisely. Um, that's fine. You know what, even if you miss, that's fine. Just get me out of this map. Um, yeah, sure. Cool Z's. Um, okay, so what can Jill do here? Cool. Well, just the boss left, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't move. Like, 80% sure. I say 80 because it's been a while since I've done Clash, so... There might be some weird scenario where he moves. I don't know. I feel like I've heard a rumor about that once. We are going in. Oh my god. Let this... Nightmare end, dude. Um, not great, surprisingly. So you have spear. Okay, let's just kind of inch up a little bit, and then I'm gonna try to finish him like in one go. Ideally. That whole charge that I did was, like, not good. Um, I just didn't quite count the ranges up and just assumed that everyone would get, get to where I needed them to go, and they couldn't. So that was, like... Not the best. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Okay. This, uh, I believe Rinsword has lifesteal, yeah. That's the problem here. Oh my gosh, Z, really? You can't double? Oh, Z, that's so sad. I'm like legitimately sad for you. That's not too bad. Um, let's heal first, anyway. Now we're in 43 minutes. I'm doing great. Just don't. I don't. I don't have anything to follow up with. <laughs> Just don't. I just really don't want like fall right at this final hurdle. That's this is always what it boils down to for me. Okay, whatever, nerd. I will eat your soul. Well, you have to hit to eat my soul, so. Out of curiosity, not good. Not good. The idea is to finish it this turn, but I don't necessarily know that that's going to happen. Sure. I have two boss quotes. Okay, nice. Well, that was extremely counterproductive. 
I was kind of counting on that hitting, but thanks, Khalil. Good level up, though. Um, unfortunately, that might push back our operation to next turn, because I was kind of... The math in my head was more based off of um, Khalil hitting there, which didn't happen, per se, so whatever. It's fine. That's fine. Thanks, Renolf. You're doing it. Uh, if you want to dodge the rune sword again, that would be really nice, too. No, of course not. God, this boss sucks. You know what? I'm actually going to just enemy phase that with Jill, I think. And we'll see what we can do from there. At this point, I'm more or less just so mentally checked out with this map. I just want to be done with this. I've been clashing for almost two hours. <sighs> We're close, so we just have to freaking deal with this. Nope, nope not physics. Please just dodge, Jill. Good. Okay, cool. So who wants to go for this? It'd actually be a pretty good Z kill if we could get it, but oh my gosh, if he misses, dude. Am I willing to gamble on a 77? Or like 87 or whatever. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm just, let's just finish this. I'm done. I'm done with Clash. Yeah, okay, whatever. See you in, there, in Radiant Dawn. Cool. Oh my gosh. I'm not proud of any of that. But it's over. We finished Clash. It's, it's done. It can no longer hurt us. Oh jeez. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're gonna have to make some decisions on this one. But not now, we will figure that out. Oh, it's a barn, why can't you just join me? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm not proud of any of this. Um, okay, so let's just wrap it up. We're almost, we're rapidly approaching the two hour mark. I am tired, I will just... Okay, if you managed to watch all hour and 47 minutes of me playing Clash, I would like to thank you because that is wild. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, this was something. My brain melted at some point in all of this, but I do appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.